see here man or I can say direct configuration administration system monitor it's gonna monitor other services here just like the task manager that you got but I mean this is just a basic I mean you have uh, a lot more other tools so don't worry about it we're gonna cover those stuff I'm gonna click on screen resolution I can change the screen resolution here so I can choose whatever that I want and then I can click on apply let's say let me click on this one click on apply now I will say use previous resolution I don't want this so that is the way and then I'm gonna click on display well I will already cover that so these are the basic steps I would I know recommend you I would rather I know insist you to just go through this and click on each and everything whatever that interests you and try to uh, get something out of it. You have a dictionary here. You can search for Linux error while retaining the definition. Hmm. You can search for a word. Nothing. I can search for school. So nothing is there. What does that mean? Well, it's not online. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have the Firefox web browser here. Then I have, I mean, a lot of internet tools. I mean, you can install. I have Opera here. Then we have Conqueror here. So, the, the, I mean, there's the, a the lot of lot of stuffs are here. I mean, if you want, you can go ahead and install you know, a lot of the stuffs. Uh, these will not be there. Please do remember Firefox web browser is the only browser that you're gonna have with this computer, right? I mean, others are optional. You can most of them are downloaded and installed. Some of them were there. I just enabled them. So for programmers, you have a lot of programming tools here to you know. And those who wanna know edit, or rip CDs, who wanna play music, movies, you have audio video tools. System tools, CD writer, disk usage analyzer, file browser. What is file browser? Just a Nautilus, right? File browser is a Nautilus window. This is it. Okay, so we're gonna now we can go to the scary part. Scary part is open terminal. This is a terminal. So, a terminal, most of the people say, oh, the next is everything is terminal. Everything is terminal. We gotta do it in a black window and this is very tough that is very tough you have to remember all the commands and how they work you have to remember the definition yes most of it's true when I say most of it whatever that you have heard of all the scary stories about this terminal or how difficult is it yes it's as difficult as you know eating a peanut unless you know you don't have teeth right I hope you all know all of you guys have teeth so that's why I know you are try to or you are attempting to view this video so we're gonna go ahead and now and uh, check basic things so right click open terminal right so bash shell or born again shell it's born it's not your born identity or born supremacy the movie it's not that one it's a guy who actually made this right so what is a shell mm, shell is the command interpreter that's it right shell is something what the command that you're gonna give it's gonna go ahead and now and transform that to a language that the kernel or the computer understands so shell is basically uh, what you can say an interpreter mm, a French Prime Minister has come to United States and assume that okay he don't know English at all so there ha there should be something in you know, our interpreter right the kind of thing here so the this is a way so I can either choose click on this click 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 uh, I can navigate I can do my stuff or I can open a terminal and I can make it a little faster so I'm gonna say zoom again so the first thing uh, the first basic command that you should know R R is LS LS what is that no, 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 it's not the one. I'm just 
I'm just messing up. All right, ls means list. All right, so it's gonna list out the files. Clear means it's gonna clear the screen. ls clear. ls clear. Right. So when I say ls, it's gonna list the files in the present directory. So what is the present working directory? In Linux, folders are called as directories, right? So in Windows world they say folders, here we say directories, right? So I'm going to say I want to find out what directory that I am in. So I'm going to type pwd present working directory. So I'm in slash home slash kaju. So why was it in blue? Okay, why was it in blue anyway? Because that was a folder. So these are the files. So that's how it ls command distinguish, right? So there's other command, you know, why it actually gives it in colors, even though its basic function doesn't include in a coloring system. But yes, that's how it is. So there may you know, various other switches. There are something called as switches. I'm gonna show you. LS switch A or ls A command. So what is this? Now it's going to show all or everything that we have there, all the hidden file system files, everything. Okay, these are all the files which are in it. So ls dash A is going to show all or ls all. It's the same, right? ls minus l what is ls minus l? ls minus l is going to show not all okay it's a lengthy l means length or lengthy file name so when I say lengthy file name it's going to show me the read write execute I mean the rights that the, who has the rights what kind of a rights I have on it everything so here d means it is a directory write this file this means it's a file. We're going to cover this extensively in future. So read, write, execute for uh, this person. Okay, uh, the owner, and these three functions are for this group. This is for everyone else, right? That is how it is. So I'm going to clear the screen now. So let's say you want to know more about LS. So what are you going to do? So here comes the most important stuff. Now how? You're gonna get help, right? So we're gonna say ls help, right? So I'm gonna use the browser here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna open another browser just for the sake of it. Okay, this is how it looks. I mean. But here, I mean, since I made the font bigger in this tab, so this is what is it? You know, showing a pass. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I want to normal size. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. So in. Okay, let's zoom in. So this is how you have all the information about this file here, right? So here it says ls minus a is okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just only a little bit. Okay, so that you can you guys can see this. All right. Okay, so this is I think more than enough, right? Uh, minus a is all. Do not ignore entries starting with dot. That's that's what it means. So usually, all the hidden files start with dot. So in other words, it's saying do not ignore entries starting with. So capitally, almost all do not list imply dot and dot dot. Okay, so you have various switches. So you don't need to remember them whenever you feel the need of it. So ju just type this command ls dash dash help and you will get this help page. Alright? 
So what if you need a little more than that?